Good luck, everybody. Oh, I got the chills. Oh, the and guys, we're off and racing. As you can see there, that wasn't the best start of my life. Um, unfortunately, it was all on me. My bike fired right up, dropped the clutch, and I killed it. So, um, fired right up pretty quick after that. So, I, I get by six or seven guys down this first wash, and then we're just off to racing. So, uh, I'm going to cut it up to some of the, the highlights. And as you can see, there's snow up in the mountains. Dirt was wet and perfect all day. Had such a blast. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the compilation going together. At this point, we're about five minutes into the race, um, running through. They brought us down to some of these tight washes down here at Little Gem. And it's a lot of fun. You can see a lot of snow in the hills still. So the, the dirt was kind of on the edge of being slick, but it was actually still pretty good. So just learning to trust the dirt and just still trying to get myself warmed up um, through the next, the first lap or the, the next 10 minutes after this, my hands were still pretty cold. I had a little bit of arm pump, but trying to get into the groove and, and just keep up on these guys. So. Right here, we're coming up this hill climb and still fighting arm pump. I make this little mistake, get off my line, which allows this guy on the Husky to get around me. Um, and unfortunately, right here, I just wasn't quite aggressive enough. I shouldn't have let him cut me off like that and just, just kept charging. But uh, anyways, keep warming up and, and just gonna chase these guys for the next little bit. Right here we're getting close and this is obviously one of the bigger things that I need to work on is I just didn't trust that this guy would stay on his line so I didn't ever make up the pass. Um, 
just need to get more aggressive and just just make it happen because I shouldn't be sitting behind this guy still. So live and learn, keep getting better. And then right here, we were actually supposed to go right, right there, down into that wash. It wasn't marked very well. I'm not sure if there was some, some markings torn down this first lap. Um, so all of us are hanging outside the wash when really we're supposed to be down in it. Um, so I get by this guy on the Husky in front of me. He realizes he ducks into it, but I decided to keep going straight this first lap. Um, hop behind my buddy Tanner Tavenier right here on his Shurko 250. Uh, next lap, they, they made some adjustments and they, they marked off that trail so they forced us all down into the wash the rest of the race. But nice little line got by a few people that... Right here, we're still on the chase. All of us blew this corner. It's hard for me to make it every lap, even though I, I knew it was coming up. Just just struggled with it. And then this drops us into the gnarliest downhill in the whole race. Obviously on video, you can't tell, but we're dropping straight off this ridge down to the valley below. And it's steep as hell. First lap, it's pretty slick. And then there just ended up being some gnarly square edge breaking bumps through this each time. So just trying to control speed, stay in control through this, keep it on two wheels, um, and keep riding smooth. Right here, they pop us over into a natural terrain motocross track that's here. Um, public can come ride this at any point, the Little Gem Cycle Park out of Emmett, Idaho. Um, not really fun in the dry, but it was actually pretty fun in the wet. All the corners were nice, the dirt was really good. Um, so, fun little section on the track here. Right after the moto track, they drop us into this little natural. Uh, not natural, I guess, but this uh, rut corner track that they built through the stage brush here. So a couple tight corners, tight ruts. Um, I, I struggle in one of the corners a little bit later. And when, when we get close to it, it was actually on lap six. I didn't have it on GoPro, but I, I fell right in front of the photographer, Cato, that was out there taking pictures for the event. So I'll pause it right on the corner that I tipped over in with, with that photo of me laying on the ground here in just a second. Here's that photo from when I crashed right in front of the photographer, but back to Jason Tanner into the finish line. Right here, we're coming to the finish for lap one. Um, this is a two and a half hour race, just doing as many laps as we can. And watch, the, I, I make a, a nice pass on Tanner here.
right here we're catching up with my buddy Cole Hodder. Um, he's having to, some issues. He injured a few ribs, and he was racing the pro class, but falling off the pace a little bit. And I get on his ass, and he ends up speeding up after I get by him. So made for a, a fun little section, the last of this third lap. At this point, he lets me by, and and then he stays right on my ass the rest of the lap before I pull into the pits and get some more gas. But this is about the end of my GoPro footage. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video back at the races. Also, let me know if you like this style, or I had a couple more voiceovers and explained a little bit more of it as we were racing through it. So um, overall, ended up doing eight laps total, and ended up third in the unlimited A class and 19th overall in the day. So. Had a good time. The dirt was fantastic. I had so much fun racing, and we'll be back at it at the OMC Scramble in two weeks.